Jean-Marie Tello, futur réalisateur du Cameroun. Et là, je présente le malentendu colonial dans le cadre de Bernard of Memory. Et c'est un peu sur l'histoire coloniale allemande. La participation des prêtres et des missionnaires à l'histoire coloniale. Voilà. Good morning. Good morning. Please, could you present yourself for people who don't know? Okay, so uh, my name is Bernard Akwe Jackson. Uh, I am um, a visual artist uh, who uses a lot of performance, installation, uh, new media, videos uh, to do my expressions. Um, I also teach in the university, uh, in the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, where I teach uh, on contemporary art, uh, on uh, new emerging practices. And I'm particularly interested in disruption and uh, art practice that has a revolutionary impact. So this is really what I'm interested in. And I'm here uh, as part of the project Burden of Memory, considering German colonial history in Africa. Um, first on two uh, uh, purposes. I'm here particularly to do a reading, or I've done a reading already, and then um, also I moderated um, a, a panel discussion on memory. Um, my reading was based on the work of Ayikwe Ama, a Ghanaian writer who, um, in this particular reading we picked from the book, uh, from his book, Remembering the Dismembered Continent. And the, the excerpt that I chose was uh, his new preface to uh, the Per Ankh publication of um, his book, The Beautiful Ones Are Not Yet Born. And so this, the title of the passage was, uh, Who are the Beautiful Ones? And so in this passage, he's describing um, the character of uh, a mythical figure from uh, Egypt, ancient Egypt, uh, known as Osiris. And um, he thinks, because this Osiris character is one who was um, destroyed, he was um, cut up into 14 little parts and became, and, and Isis had to bring him back together, stitch him back together. So it's like a symbol of um, Africa that was uh, cut up uh, by the colonial enterprise and now we have to uh, bring Africa back together before we can move forward. So I thought it was relevant to make this reading in this project. Uh, globally, what is the project? What about the project, the burn of memory? So globally, I mean, uh, I mean, it is. Uh, I mean, what we have been critiquing is that uh, the colonial enterprise has been silent on the uh, the, the disruption or the destruction that was caused by uh, um, these colonial uh, uh, powers. First, and my argument is that it's not only even the six countries that we are dealing with, but that the entire history of Africa was affected by this, uh, um, the Berlin Conference, for example, which happened uh, from November of uh, 1884 to February of 1885, where 14 European and American uh, states were brought together to cut up, literally, Africa into uh, many different countries. So this is uh, um, what the project of uh, colonialism is. <laughs> okay, okay. So yeah, so uh, basically this is what uh, we have been discussing uh, this whole week. Uh, in different topics and I uh, chaired a panel uh, which was about memory. So artists uh, shared their work on how they have been dealing with memory and uh, yeah there were also questions and answers and uh, a whole dis uh, dis discussion uh, sort of ensued uh, concerning memory. How we are remembering, what we are remembering and then what do we do with what we are remembering. This is basically uh, what I did. So I want to know, uh, the second day of opening, we saw you make a performance. Okay, yeah. What does it represent for you? What do you want to, 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 to transmit? What okay. is the message yeah. of that performance? Yeah, uh, so since I said I'm interested in disruption and uh, intervention or provocation, I did this um, because it is actually not on the official program of the project. So um, for me, I thought it was an important uh, moment to 
make a commentary which looks like it is part of the program, but it is obviously not part. And, and so I use symbolism of uh, empire. I use, uh, I, but I had a book which is, uh, was published this year in Ghana by uh, a colleague um, also in the field of archaeology. Uh, he's called Wazi Apo. And uh, he has been trying to find out, dig out, he's an archaeologist, so dig out the, the colonial remnants of Germany and, and Britain, especially in, uh, uh, in Volta region of Ghana. And so I, I had that and then I had the flag, uh, but it's a flag that I've made for myself, for my own empire. And so I walked majestically uh, whilst Dr. Asumta was uh, making her presentation. I walked slowly as if it's a part of uh, this presentation and then I left quietly. Um, for me, it is a silent gesture, uh, but it's also a provocation. It is, a, it is an intervention in an otherwise uh, relaxed and comfortable conversation. I think sometimes it's necessary to do these things because it draws people's attention that they can ask, what is this? What is this happening? Is it official? Is it not? Uh, I'm not so much interested in whether it's official or not, but I'm more interested in the power that this gesture has, uh, the, the potential that it has to, to instigate discussion. That is really what I'm interested in. But what is the difference between performance and classic arts? Um, <laughs> I will, for me, I don't think I will consider a difference. I will consider it as a continuum. So, uh, classical art, I'm trained, I'm trained classically as a painter. But I don't think expression uh, is necessarily categorized only as performance or painting. I think that uh, there's a lot of evolution has happened in the, uh, the world of classical art anyway for it to expand beyond uh, just what we know. And um, for me also in my own practice, uh, the work of people like Karikacha Sedu uh, in, in uh, the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, how uh, his um, thinking and teaching has inspired the way in which I look at all art as one long continuum of expression. And so for me, I don't talk about differences, I just talk about how the tradition is being expanded and is being encouraged to, to be accommodating or to recognize many forms of expression. Uh, how the youth of Ghana now living uh, the neo-colonialism or living uh, their life now knowing that they have been colonized by German and, and England? Yeah, okay, so Ghana, Gen uh, Ghana officially was not colonized by Germany. It was a small part of Ghana, which was close to Togo. So that is the part that was necessarily uh, under German uh, uh, um, colonial uh, uh, um, d uh, domination. Generally, the larger part of Ghana was colonized by England. And, but uh, the youth are quite aware of these histories and they are dealing with it critically. Uh, me, I would wish that even they are a little bit more critical because some also take it for granted. Not the youth particularly, but also some of the older generation. You can even hear people saying that, oh, uh, I wish the Germans came back, uh, especially in Volta region or in, in the English, uh, in, in the larger part of Ghana also. Some will be accusing Kwame Nkrumah, our, our liberating leader, as being, being somebody who kicked out the white people too soon. And we ask, why would, you, would people have this sentiment? But people do. And so we are wishing that through our work as artists, through our work as academics, through our work as people who engage with the public, people will come start, start realizing, um, yeah, there was a colonial engagement. Some aspects were fine but most of the aspects were, were problematic, and this we have to deal with. And so uh, I'm happy that uh, younger people are engaging with this problematic past and trying to critique it for a better future. Um, so which message do you want to transmit? Uh, for me, a message that uh, we all need to be more critical of our histories, the histories that we have received, histories that we share and histories that we can write together or create together or even embody together. It is important to be critical because if we are not critical, then we stand the chance, we stand the danger of repeating 
what happened in the past. And I don't think anybody is interested in repeating what happened in the past. We want to move ahead, but move ahead knowing that something bad was done and that we must not in any way celebrate it, but question and keep questioning. Keep questioning it. This is really the message I have for myself and also for the youth. Thank you very much. Thank you also. <laughs>